Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this uh, circle with the center of fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B is uh, 4 units and the uh, C, D length uh, is uh, 5 units and moreover uh, E, F, G and H are our points of tangency. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first steps. Let's focus on this trapezoid ABCD. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, trapezoid, and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height h times uh, the sum of these two bases a plus b all over 2. And here in our case, uh, this uh, a, b is the height of this uh, trapezoid. I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase h. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, side a, d as our base uh, lowercase a. And likewise, I'm going to label uh, this uh, base uh, BC as our uh, base uh, lowercase b. And now we know that our uh, height uh, h value is uh, 4. However, uh, a and uh, b values are uh, unknown. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this point of tangency E and this point uh, G as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this crucial fact. The centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder uh, this uh, point E, this center row, and this uh, point G lie on the very same line. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be a 90 degree angle and likewise this is going to be a 90 degrees uh, angle as well. Since uh, this uh, OE is our radius and this uh, is our tangent line and likewise uh, OG is our radius and uh, this uh, is our tangent line as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, is our radius. I'm going to label this one lowercase r. Likewise, this is going to be lowercase r radius as well. And now we can see this uh, whole eg is the diameter of this uh, circle. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, height ab is going to be equal to the diameter of this uh, circle. So therefore, uh, diameter turns out to be 4. So therefore we conclude that this uh, radius uh, length is going to be half of that one is going to be 2 and likewise uh, this uh, BF length is going to be 2 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, side uh, CD. I'm going to label uh, this tiny segment uh, DH length uh, as uh, X and this uh, other segment uh, CH length uh, as y then we can see that this whole side cd is going to be x plus y is going to be equal to 5 so therefore i can write x plus y is going to be equal to 5 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now let's recall the two tangent theorem According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this given diagram. Here we got a single external point O, and the points of tangency A and B. Then according to this uh, theorem, this uh, segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, BO. In other words, uh, these uh, two segments uh, are going to be congruent. Now we are going to apply this uh, very crucial theorem on our given problem. 
and here we can see according to this theorem this segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this segment uh, AF if this segment is 2 then this segment uh, AE has got to be 2 units as well likewise uh, this segment uh, BG is going to be equal to this segment uh, BF if this is 2 then this has got to be 2 units as well and moreover this segment uh, ED is going to be equal to this segment uh, DH if this segment is X then this uh, ED has got to be X as well and finally this segment uh, CG length is going to be equal to this uh, CH length if this is Y then this has got to be Y as well and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, AB base uh, A is going to be equal to 2 plus X so therefore I could write uh, our base A equals to 2 plus uh, X and likewise uh, this other base uh, BC which is being represented by lowercase b is going to be equal to 2 plus y so therefore I could write our base b equals to 2 plus uh, y and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, given trapezoid ABCD and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again area equals to height h times the sum of the bases a and b all over 2 and in our case uh, our height uh, h is 4 units our base a equals to 2 plus x and our base b is 2 plus y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula our height uh, h is 4 and then uh, times our uh, a value is 2 plus x I'm going to write down uh, 2 plus x and then plus uh, b value is 2 plus y I'm going to write down 2 plus uh, y all over 2 and here we can see 4 divided by 2 reduces to simply 2 and likewise uh, inside this parenthesis that is going to give us uh, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 plus x plus y so therefore I could write uh, 2 times uh, 4 plus uh, x plus uh, y and now from this equation 1 we know x plus y value is 5 so therefore I'm going to substitute this uh, x plus y value as 5 over here so therefore we could write uh, 2 times 4 plus 5 and that is going to be equal to 2 plus 9 equals to 18 square units the area of this trapezoid ABCD so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, turns out to be 18 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye